In this video, I'm going to explain the complete details on a glass door fitting for your bathroom, the kind of glass that should be used, should you go for nano coating, should you do the etching, what is the price of the material that is going to be used, what is the best material to use in bathroom so that it, it stays for a longer time. I'm going to share each and everything including the pricing, so make sure you're going to watch till the end to get complete clarity. Thank you.
inside layer of the glass is coated with the nano coating now the beauty of nano coating is it makes sure that uh, majority of the water just runs down and it does not leave a stain on the glass so that helps for easy cleaning and you really don't have to uh, clean every time right so uh, after a couple of minutes you can see that okay again the glass is going to become completely clear now showing this after some time you don't see any water droplets over there okay it's not clean but this is how it looks after some time so this is how the final uh, fitting looks like i'm going to explain the price of it and everything first let me tell you the kind of material that we have used so this is a 10 mm tougher glass and on the inside right so this layer whatever you are seeing here this is nano coated now what happens is uh, when it's nano coated even when the shower water falls on this the water runs down uh, really fast and it don't uh, retain the stains so when i say it does not retain the stones so let uh, when i say when it does not retain the watermark let me tell you exactly what i mean right so you can see on this glass right there is lot of this uh, water stains that are there okay so you don't see these kind of stains when the nano coating has been done okay so usually the price of nano coating would be roughly around 100 rupees uh, per square foot so that's about uh, the nano coating and on the outside we have got this etching done okay now again with respect to etching they are going to they are going to charge for the entire uh, glass okay they are not going to charge only for that specific area the reason is uh, when they are doing the etching for this particular glass they have to cover even that portion so that it does not get uh, spoiled while they are doing the etching so again uh, etching may cost you anywhere around uh, 70 to 100 rupees per square foot so that's how uh, the etching cost would be now coming to the material that has been used now this is one of the most important thing that you need to consider all the material that we have used is ozone okay let me just quickly see if i can show you clearly okay so the complete material that we have used for uh, this is ozone uh, this is the 304 steel what you get and uh, why you need to go for this particular kind of things is so that over a period of time it does not get spoiled and then it could be this material right even this is ozone these are pretty heavy gauge uh, uh, tools that have been used for doing this again the rods that come up at the top okay so that's also ozone even the clamps that are put at the corner they are also ozone okay so the entire setup has been made with uh, the ozone material that we get for bathroom uh, shower fittings now why i recommend that is because you also get the cheaper version of it now what would happen is if you go for cheaper version of it it would just have the steel coating something like this okay and over a period of time you might end up seeing something like this on the uh, on the parts that are used so always go for something that is 304 steel uh, to be sure you can certainly go for ozone so it is known for good quality now that's about the handle and other things that we have used now this is the uh, rubber strip that is running uh, from top to bottom it also has the magnetic strip inside so if you see right now if i just push right you could see it completely locks so there is no gap anywhere so you don't see uh, any water coming out in the same way there is also a strip that comes at the bottom right and also at the side okay so this is how it runs on the entire door so that water does not come out and uh, on all the fixed glass so this is the clear silica gel okay so that has been applied so that it's completely waterproof as well okay so that's how it has been done now one thing that i would advise is uh, if you are going to go for something like this don't go for complete etching of the uh, glass if you go for complete etching then you might feel that okay your bathroom is small okay either you can go for completely plain or go for minimum etching so that 
you get the feeling of a bigger bathroom so if i can show you from here right so you could see that you still uh, feel that okay it's a bigger bathroom but if it was completely etching was done on the other side then uh, you don't get that kind of feeling and you might feel that okay the bathroom is really small and the etching has been done on the uh, back side uh, of this glass okay it's not on the inside it's on the back side because on the side of nano coating this cannot be done okay so that's about this entire uh, setup that is there now coming to the cost of it uh, this costed me around 880 so consider roughly around 900 rupees per square foot okay so this is around uh, seven uh, sorry uh, yeah five five feet by uh, seven feet height so that's roughly around 35 uh, square foot okay so 880 which costed roughly around 30,800 for me now depending upon what kind of material that you are using whether you're going to do the etching or not whether you're going to do the nano coating or not uh, you might get a price range of anywhere around 550 uh, per square foot to around 1000 rupees square foot okay now since i have got everything done so the cost for me is roughly around 880 rupees per square foot so consider roughly around 900 rupees per square foot okay so this is how uh, it looks now if you have any questions related to this just comment below i'll be more than happy to answer and one important thing to consider while uh, they are fixing it so make sure the clamps whatever they are going to put right so it is below the water level so uh, our water pipe runs at this level and uh, the clamp there has been put over there okay and again uh, there is one over here which is roughly around uh, below seven feet height okay so please do check your water pipe connection drawing before they insert the clamp now if you don't check that and if they put the clamp and if there is pipe running you might end up uh, messing up the water pipe that would have been put inside and it might it might require you to invest more to get that fixed as well okay so that's something to consider thank you thanks for watching if you are not already subscribed to the channel then please do subscribe click on that bell notification and select all notification so that you don't miss any videos from this channel see you in the next video